Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,462. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a great video here. We want to see how to take 5,000 formulas, put them into a single cell, and either use some product or an array formula to calculate the final answer. Now, our 5,000 formulas we want to consolidate into a single cell, we have units times price. And if I click in the top cell and use Control down arrow, we have 5,000 rows. That means 5,000 formulas in this column that we need to calculate units times price. Then once we multiply each one of the units times price, then we need to add. Now let's see how to do this with a helper column. Now sometimes a helper column, if I type the equal sign, left arrow, left arrow to get units times left arrow to get price, sometimes making an individual calculation, copying it down is exactly what we want. I'm going to use Control Enter to put the formula in the cell and keep the cell selected. Then I'm going to point to the fill handle. And with my crosshair or angry rabbit, I'm going to double click and send that down. Now I'm going to use Control Down Arrow to go to the bottom and F2 to put it in edit mode. Sure enough, it's calculating units times price for all 5,000 rows. Escape, Control Home to jump back to cell A1. Now we simply come over and use the keyboard for the sum function, Alt equals. I click in the top cell, Control Shift down arrow to highlight all the way to the bottom, Control Backspace to jump back to the active cell. Now I have my sum and my range. I hit Enter. That's awesome. We made 5,000 calculations and totaled them all up. Now, if you don't need to see each individual number, there's a much easier way to do this. Equals the amazing sum product function. Now notice sum product. Sum product will multiply two ranges and then add the result. We could see here it has as many arrays as we want. We simply have two. So in array one, I'm going to click in the top cell for units. Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace to jump back to the active cell. Now I type a comma. Second column, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace. Now when I close parentheses, sum product is simply amazing. As long as you have an array and then one or more other arrays that are the same size, notice we go 6 to 505, 6 to 505, it'll do its thing. It'll multiply each individual element and then add. So when I hit Enter, that's amazing. We substituted 5,000 different formulas into a single cell using some product. Now I want you to notice something. This is not rounded. In fact, if I increase the column width, you can see there's a bunch of unrounded numbers. And guess what? This is money. So we need to round each individual amount before we total. Now, sometimes you do not need to round, and that's where some product is just perfect. But let's see how to do this longhand first. Then we'll see how to do it in a single cell. Well, equals, and I'm going to get my units times price. We know that's not going to work because it'll give us unrounded numbers, but no problem. Right after the equal sign, I type R-O-U. Tab, there's the round function. It takes some formula. I come to the end with my cursor, comma. And round is great. All you have to do is tell it which position you want to round to. Now, since we're using money, we simply start at the decimal and count. One, two. That's the penny position. I can count as many to the right, one, two, three, four, five, as I want. If I'm counting to the left, then instead of 1, 2, I go 2, 1, 0. 0 would be to the dollar. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. We want to round to the penny, so I type a 2. Close parentheses. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now I have exactly what I want, the proper dollar amounts with the pennies rounded. 
Now when I come over here, Alt equals, click in the top cell, Control, Shift, Down arrow, Control, Backspace, and Enter, that's the proper rounded total. We actually had to round each individual amount and then total. Now, if we want to do the same thing in a single cell, meaning roll up all 5,000 formulas into a single cell, meaning we didn't need to see the individual amounts. Our goal was just the total. We do not need this extra column. Now, you might think that we could do some product, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace, comma, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace, close parentheses. You might be tempted for a second to think that you could simply wrap round around some product, but that's not going to work because round number argument, that's a single number. That's the total. So when I hit Enter, it's just not right at all. It only rounded that single number up here. So what we need to do instead is switch over to an array formula that makes a direct array operation. Now, before we do that, let's just look at this column, F2. Notice single cell operator, in our case multiplication operator, single cell. But if I hit Enter, F2, oh, Enter, F2, Enter, F2, notice that it looks like there's a blue column and an orange column. So instead of single cell operator, single cell, we're going to come over here, equal sign, and put the entire column in. Now, before I put the entire column in, I want to show you something. Since let's just do the first six numbers, and that's a range, right? Times, that's an operator. The first six cells for price. And now I want to show you what happens. My cursor's at the end. If I use the F9 key, which is the evaluation key, F9, it shows me the result of that direct operation on ranges or arrays. Notice that number is exactly the same as the first one. Second number, same as the second one. So we're simulating in a single cell this entire helper column. Now I'm going to click Escape and type equal sign. Now let's do the entire column. Control, Shift, Down arrow, Control, Backspace, multiplication symbol. Price, Control, Shift, Down arrow, Control, Backspace. Now I can't F9 this and show you what it evaluates to because it yields too many characters, more than are allowed in a single cell. So that's why I did the short version first. But guess what? That array calculation right there, or array operation, simulates this entire column, all 5,000 numbers. Now, why is this an array formula? Because we're doing some operation on not a single cell and another single cell, but one of the sides on the operation has a range or an array of items. Now, we need to round, so we come after the equal sign and type round. Now, if we were to evaluate that, that's 5,000 numbers sitting there. And guess what? Round will have no problem. It'll round each individual number. Now, since there's 5,000 numbers in the number argument, and number argument is expecting a single number, this is the second time we're doing an array operation. But this is called a function argument array operation, because we're telling round to please round all 5,000 numbers. Now I come to the end, comma, two, close parentheses. Now, that will round them. And in fact, watch this. I'm going to hit Enter. It's going to give me the wrong answer just for a second. Just to prove to you, we'll do the same thing we did before. Comma, two, close parentheses. Now if I F9, you can see the function argument array operation did its thing. There's from that number to the rounded number. In the fourth position, that unrounded number to the proper rounded number. Again, this is using the round to simulate this column right here, all in a single cell. Now I'm going to click Escape, F2. Now once we have all 5,000 rounded numbers here, we need to add them. Now I would like to use the SUM function. But the SUM function 
requires that you use a special keystroke to get Excel to understand that this is an array calculation. So I'm going to backspace. Instead of sum, I'm going to use sum product. Now, sum product is a magic Excel function in so many ways. Up here, we simply used it. And you could see off to the side, two ranges separated by a comma. Then it knew to do product and then sum. But guess what? Sum product, that array argument right there, it can totally handle this array operation without doing any special keystroke. So I'm using sum product, but I'm only going to be using the sum part, only the sum part. In order to use the product part, you have to have more than one array. So I'm simply housing this array formula inside of sum product so that it will add it without doing a special keystroke. When I hit Enter, there we go. So in this video, we saw how to calculate 5,000 numbers and then add them. But if we want to make it easy on ourselves and we don't need to individual numbers, we simply use sum product. Then we saw how to use the round function and the sum. But again, if we're not interested in the individual numbers, why not use our single cell array formula? It's an array formula because we made a direct operation using multiplication, and then we made a function argument array operation forcing round to deliver 5,000 numbers. Then we used sum product because it's one of the few functions. There's actually five of them, sum product, lookup, index, chi-square test, and aggregate function. Only five functions of the 450 Excel functions that can handle array operations without a special keystroke. So we use some product to add the result, and boom, 5,000 formulas in a single cell. Now, if you like this video, click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and be sure to sub, because there's always more videos from Excel is Fun. And we'll see you next video.